Okay, today we're going to start on Module 3, Lesson 3. The objective is to multiply and divide with familiar facts using a letter to represent the unknown. The materials you need for today are your online whiteboard or your whiteboard dry erase marker and dry eraser. And we are going to follow the teaching style where I do it, we do it together, and then you do it on your own. First, I'm going to show you an example of what we're going to be doing, so I want you to just watch. In this one, I'm going to be using a letter to represent the unknown in multiplication. So here's my problem. 24 24 people line up to use the canoes at the park. Three people are assigned to each canoe. How many canoes are used? Okay, so notice I underlined those two numbers uh, that I came across in the problem. So I know that those are going to be part of my equation. Now I'm trying to figure out how many canoes are used. Since we're using canoes, I'm just going to have my letter be C, okay? Because it says I have to use a letter to represent the unknown. Well, I don't know how many canoes we need, so I'm just going to pick the letter C for canoes. Okay, so I know we're doing multiplication, and 24 is the biggest number I have. So I know that has to be my product. Okay, that has to be my answer, because in multiplication, our answer is always our bigger number. There's three people in each canoe. Okay, and that leaves our unknown as this letter C. So, all I did, okay, is instead of making this a blank, or instead of making this a question mark, I've made it a C for canoes, okay? So, it's pretty much like what we've been doing except now we've got a letter that we're trying to solve for, okay? So our equation is three times C equals 24. And once we figure out what C is, we'll know how many canoes they need. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna skip count by our small number until we get to our big number. So we're gonna skip count by threes until we get to 24. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So I skip counting by threes until I got to 24. Now I just need to figure out how many times did I need to skip count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I had to skip count eight times. So C is eight. Okay, or you might see it look like this, C equals eight. Okay, so we're pretty much doing what we've already been practicing with multiplication, except now we just have a letter there instead of a blank or a question mark. So now I'm going to have you try it with me. Instead of a word problem, I just have um, an equation. 24 equals four times R. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to skip count by fours until you get to 24. Okay, so on your whiteboard, I want you to skip by fours until you get to 24, and then count how many times you have to skip count. I'll give you a couple minutes to work on solving that.
Okay, even if you're not finished, go ahead and hold up what you've come up with so far. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if your skip count matches mine. So we're skip counting by fours until we get to 24. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, and then 24. So if you got this far, then you might have gone next, which is figuring out how many times did we have to skip count. One, two, three, four, five, six. We had to skip count six times, which means R equals six. Okay, so if we were to replace this R with a six, four times six equals 24. Okay, go ahead and erase your whiteboards. And then I'm gonna have you watch again. This time I'm going to use a letter to represent the unknown in division. So similar to what we've been doing, except instead of multiplication, now we have division. <coughs> so here's our problem. 21 students are grouped in threes to go on a field trip. How many groups of students are there? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use G for groups of students because that's what we're trying to figure out. That's the unknown. That's what we don't know. The unknown is G for groups of students. Now, since we know this is division and we have 21 as our biggest number, in division, we know that the biggest number always comes first right because we take our total and we break it into groups so to break it into groups we have to have that big number first okay so i have 21 students divided into g groups i don't know how many groups but once they break those 21 students into groups they have three students per group Okay, so I have 21 divided by G equals 3. Pretty much we're going to end up be doing the same thing that we were doing with multiplication. We're going to be skip counting by the small number until we get to the big number. So we're going to skip count by threes until we get to 21. 3, 6, 9, 12. 15, 18, 21. Now I have to figure out how many times did I have to skip count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I had to skip count by threes seven times to get to 21. So G equals 7. Okay. That means that that G equals 7. So 21 divided by 7 equals 3. They have 21 students and they divide them into 7 groups. There will be 3 students per group. Okay, go ahead and pick those whiteboards back up. I'm going to have you do this one with me. 5 equals 50 divided by M. So 50 is our big number. We divide it into so many groups and we get five per group. We need to skip count by the small number until we get to the big number. And that'll tell us what M equals. So on your whiteboard, I want you to skip count by fives until you get to 50. I'm gonna give you a couple minutes to do that again. Skip count by fives until you get to 50.
Okay, even if you haven't finished, go ahead and hold up what you have for your skip count so far. Okay, let's go ahead and see if what you have matches mine. So we're skip counting by fives until we get to 50. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Now let's figure out how many times did we have to skip count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We just skip count ten times, which means M equals ten. Okay, so if we were to replace this M, it would be with a ten. So our problem would be fifty divided by ten equals five. Okay, go ahead and erase those whiteboards. Now we're at the part where you're going to be working on your work alone. It's an IXL skill 03, solve for the variable, multiplication and division only. So it's going to be what we were practicing today. You might notice, though, as you see here, you're solving for H. 15 equals 3H. Now, 3H really means 3 times h. Okay, sometimes they just put them together and that means multiplication. You might also see multiplication written as 3 times h, where the times is just that little dot. Okay, so if you see it any of these ways, where it's the number, then the letter next to it, or the number with the little dot, and then the letter, all of these mean multiplication, okay? Same thing with division. You might see division written as 15 divided by 3 instead of 15 divided by 3, okay? It's just different ways of writing it that we don't typically use, but they do have them on IXL. So if you get to a problem like this and you're trying to figure out whether you're multiplying or dividing, you can always raise your hand and ask. Okay, but remember, for the most part, you're going to be counting, skip counting by that small number until you get to the big number. And then count how many times you had to skip count. Go ahead and begin.